Tonight, one of the fired Minneapolis police officers charged in George Floyd's death is now out on bail. As the Floyd case now makes its way through the legal system, lawmakers in Washington are looking at systemic police reform. ABC's Alex Perche now is all the latest. Tonight, one of the fired Minneapolis police officers charged in George Floyd's death is out on bail. Jail records show ex-rookie cop Thomas Lane was released around 4 p.m. local time. Minneapolis City Council members vowed to disband the police department in the wake of George Floyd's death. Today, the chief of police announced he is withdrawing from contract negotiations with the department's union. There is nothing more debilitating to a chief from an employment matter perspective that when you have grounds to terminate an officer for misconduct and you're dealing with a third party mechanism. Mr. Floyd, what do you hope to tell the committee today? Justice. And in the nation's capital, George Floyd's younger brother, Filones, testified before the House Judiciary Committee on Police Brutality. Anybody with a heart, they know that's wrong. You don't do that to a human being. You don't even do that to an animal. His life matters. All our lives matter. Black lives matter. Floyd family attorney Ben Crump also testified and used this case to push for more police body cameras and limiting qualified immunity for police involved in the killing of African Americans. If there's no accountability, it will keep happening. And we pray that George Floyd is the last one, but if this great body doesn't act, it's going to happen again. In the Senate, Tim Scott, the lone black Republican, was tapped to lead a group developing a police reform proposal. He says he doesn't believe he needs to hear from the White House before sharing the bill and that it's about 90 percent complete. I've already said we're on different tracks. I think the tracks have common, common terrain, but it's not necessary that we be on the same page on, on every aspect of it. Meanwhile, calls to defund police have intensified across the country. The idea is to take some government funds earmarked for police departments and redirect them towards social programs. Los Angeles announcing major cuts to police funding. Seattle considering a 50% reduction and New York redirecting some funds to youth programs and moving a bill forward that would ban chokeholds. Alex Perche, ABC News, Houston.